Hello and welcome to a new video. My name's Aid, and today I'm going to show you how to calculate the percentage clutch wear on the 2006 Maserati Quattroporte Duo Select M139. I'll be doing this using the Altel Maxi AP AP200 ADB2 scanner and I've put a link to where you can buy this in the description below. Soon after buying my Maserati, I bought the Altel and quite honestly, it saved me thousands of pounds. It currently costs around £60, which is cheaper than a local garage would charge me to plug into their diagnostic software each and every time. I'm going to be doing more videos on the Altel in the future, so if you'd like to see more, then please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell and you'll be notified when I upload new content. So this video assumes you've bought the Altel Maxi AP AP200 already, you've installed the software on your device and you've paired it using Bluetooth. Today I'll be using an iPhone 11 with the iOS app installed. The first thing I'm going to mention is that the Altel software does have a specific percentage clutchware field, however it doesn't calculate the correct value. I don't know whether this is because it needs parameters to be changed in the application configuration or because it's hard coded and incorrect. If you've found a way to do this I'd really appreciate if you can let us know in the comments below. So I'm going to show you the manual method of calculating the percentage clutch wear using the closed clutch position value for the new clutch, the self-calibrated closed clutch position value and the clutch plate thickness. To begin with, I open the Maxi AP200 app. I then click on Diagnostics, then Maserati. The software on the device then connects the Altel to the AP200. My car is a 2006 Maserati Quattroporte M139 with F1 transmission, so I click on this button here. The first value we're going to find is the closed clutch position value for the new clutch. This is the value that should be uploaded to the car's TCU when the clutch was installed. Click on the control unit, powertrain, NCR F1 gearbox, live data, system setup snapshot A7. Now scroll down to find the closed clutch position for the new clutch and make a note of it. For my car it's 198 millimeters. Now we're going to find the self-calibrated closed clutch position value which is the real-time closed clutch position. To do this click on the back button then scroll down and click on the dynamic parameters. Find the self-calibrated closed clutch position value and make a note of it. For my car, it's 25.07 millimetres. For clutch plate thickness, I use a constant of 5.6 millimetres. This is the thickness of the Duo Select clutch material, less any metallic plate. With these three values, we can now calculate the percentage clutch wear. The equation is clutch percentage wear equals the self-calibrated closed clutch position minus closed clutch position for the new clutch divided by clutch plate thickness multiplied by 100. So taking values from my car, it's 25.07 minus 19.8 equals 5.27. Then 5.27 divided by 5.6 equals 0.941. Then 0.941 multiplied by 100 equals 94.1%. So rounding down to the nearest whole number, my clutch is 94% worn. The clutch remaining is 100 minus 94, which is 6%. When my car had 76,000 miles on the clock, uh, the clutch wear checked by an independent specialist and their software said it was 90% worn. I now have 81,000 miles on the clock and my software said 94% worn. So I don't think it's going to be too long in the future before I'll need to think about a new clutch. Hopefully you found the video useful. Any comments, much appreciated. Please remember, if you like the video, I'll be grateful if you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe and click on that notification bell. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers.